Well, good afternoon. Coming to you live from the KB5 AEB Ham Shack here in Colorado. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you uh, for taking the time to do so. I just want to mention to you today uh, the topic that I want to talk to you about for just a couple of minutes is the KB9 VBR JPO antenna system. He constructs these in Wisconsin and ships them out, uh, ships them straight to the door uh, of your home. And I, I really like that. It's really easy and convenient. They're well priced. He's, he's, he's priced very well for these. And they're made out of uh, copper. And you can also get them with the SO239. His solder joints are, are well constructed. He takes uh, cons great consideration in those when he's, he's building these things for quality and workmanship. I've been impressed. This is my fourth JPO uh, antenna to order from him. And uh, I look forward to putting this to uh, work during field day 2021 here in Colorado this year. Uh, also this year, I ordered uh, some choke ferrets from him. I've never used these before, these ferret chokes. They uh, will take the place of me rolling coax up towards the feed point to keep RF coming back down into the shack or into the radio. So I'm gonna try these and I'll, I'll probably do a video on these later. But anyway, uh, it's not really what I wanted to talk about, but I did wanna mention those. I did order those uh, this time with the 70 centimeter J-pole. This thing from tip to tip on the long leg, if you will, is uh, 30 and 5 eighths inches long and that's it and if you've never seen one before that's it and I plan to have this thing installed at field day 2021 this year at Natural Park in Colorado Springs Colorado and I'll have it at the top of a 12 foot push-up uh, painters pole and it'll be mounted right above my uh, homemade 20 meter and possibly a homemade 40 meter dipole antenna It'll be mounted right up above it what I plan to do is use two holes clamps just to the side of the painter's pole and to clamp it there and it will work fine. I'll, I'll give you more information on the performance after field day of 2021. If you are looking to go to field day this year or haven't even really thought about it, I'd like for you to consider maybe field day 2021. Maybe it's your first time to go. This would be a great year to go. We just came out of a major pandemic worldwide. Amateur radio, we were working field day. Most of us were working from home last year in our garage, backyards, or out by ourselves. This year, we're all coming back together because uh, things have changed with the pandemic. Um, uh, a lot of people are, are vaccinated now, and it's just a good time to come, to come together and, and just have a good time of fellowship and camaraderie. But if you're looking for a place to go and you don't have a place already, or even if you do and you want to make more than one site, look us up on the Village 7 Amateur Radio Club's website. We have a map on there that you can download or at least look at it and get the address off and plug it into your GPS or into your cell phone for your GPS, and we'd love to see you there. Uh, field day is always held the last full weekend in the month of June, and uh, so it's coming up really quick. So if you're planning on going somewhere to field day, participate just for a few hours or, or for the whole event, whatever, for non-hams and ham radio operators, we would love to see you out there. So if you get a chance, come by, check us out, see what it's all about. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we have several stations set up this year. Most of us uh, uh, will be uh, working HF. There's going to be some two-meter sideband on our Saturday night net at 8 o'clock local here in the Springs. Uh, we'll have that. We'll also have two-meter uh, talk-in for our site on 146-460 Simplex. And we'll also be using the 447-775, uh, uh, the Village 7 Amateur Radio uh, Club's 70-centimeter and uh, Repeater, so we'll, we'll have where we can talk people in if they're not familiar with where we are for our ham radio buds. So give us a call. We'll be glad to, to talk you into the site. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, if you would, down there at the bottom, there's a like and dislike. Please click on one of those, whichever your choice is. And also the main thing I'm looking for, folks, is comments. Questions and comments in the comments section. Feel free to leave those, whatever they are, and let me know. I promise you I will get back to you. Because when you leave those, I get an email from YouTube, and they tell me where it is, and I go back and look at it, and I will respond to your comment, okay? So with that said, check with us later on this uh, KB5 AEB uh, YouTube channel, and let me know what you think as we post videos. I usually try to do this as uh, my friends, my ham radio friends, have topics if they want to know more information about it, I'll try to share that with them just a little bit. So anyway, the very best of 73, and I uh, hope to see you at Field Day 2021 at the Village 7 Amateur Radio site this year. Have a great weekend.